Hi, I'm Hannah, and I'm going to talk to you about how we search for water in the atmospheres of alien worlds. Now, when I say alien, I mean truly alien. The planets that we look at are called hot Jupiters. And to get an idea of what these worlds are really like, I want you to imagine that we shrunk the Earth down to the size of a pea. Now, on this scale, the largest planet in our solar system, Jupiter, would be about the size of this orange. 11 times the width of the Earth. Now, hot Jupiters are much bigger than this. On average, they are about one and a half to two times the size of Jupiter. So truly large worlds. And unlike Jupiter, which sits a cool five times the distance from the Sun than the Earth does, these planets orbit their stars 20 times closer than the Earth does to the Sun. That's eight times closer than Mercury, the closest planet in our solar system. This means that their atmospheres are constantly bombarded with intense radiation from their star, causing them to puff up as they heat to sometimes over 2,000 degrees on their day side. That's hotter than sitting underneath a rocket as it's taking off. So how do we look for water in these strange new alien worlds? Well, the first thing that we have to do is we have to leave our own planet. The Earth's atmosphere is filled with water vapour. So it'd be like looking for a distant cat through an entire sea of cats. You wouldn't be able to find it. So we use the Hubble Space Telescope to look at the star, and this is my star here, as our planet, and our planet here is bloat, passes in front of it. So as the planet passes in front of it, it blocks out some of that light. And we're able to measure this. But some of this starlight is shining through this planet's atmosphere before it reaches us. And if we look at the light that we're seeing in lots of different colours, over lots of different wavelengths, we'll be able to see where the different gases in this planet's atmosphere are blocking out that light. So water has a signature, an absorption, at near infrared wavelengths, so just beyond the red part of what our, our eyes can see. So if we look at the starlight just beyond the red part of what our eyes can see, the planet, instead of looking like this, will look bigger as the water is absorbing that light before it reaches us. So it's blocking out more light because there's water in that atmosphere. So by doing this at lots of different colours, we can build up a picture of these alien worlds and get clues to the true nature of their environments. And maybe one day, using this technique, we'll be able to find some aliens like you guys. Thank you.